Hi, Gloria Leibecker here with Healing You. Have you ever taken a fall and, and found yourself hurt and needed to get some help? Um, I had a fall pretty recently and I was in the woods and I went for a hike and I slipped and I fell and in the branches there I got a really deep puncture wound in my shin and I was laid up for a while. It was a pretty severe injury and my body needed time to heal and I'm grateful that I had the support that I needed in order to um, be able to rest and to have people help me out when they needed help. And then recently I've had a client that I've worked with, they took a tumble, they were riding their bike and they fell and ooh, did they get some injuries. And through that experience of feeling so vulnerable and um, the injuries ended up getting infected, that they needed to ask for help. And they found that they were, they were rather stuck there in that experience. There was a, a fear that they'd be attacked and made wrong and they would be, that there, that there really wasn't any guidance that they could receive. And it felt really incongruent. So they reached out for help to me, a different kind of help, to unpack what was, what was causing that stuckness inside from this injury that they had and this infection, to have such a strong visceral reaction and, and to have these shadow beliefs that were coming up for them. And as I took time to slow the process down, to be with what was arising, the memories of when this person was like 11 or 12, and they were and they asked for some, some support from their mom and they were shut down and they were dismissed. They were not welcomed as they were. In fact, they were scolded and they were just told things like, well, you should have listened to me before. And when they expressed unhappiness, they would be told with sternness, well, I don't know what you have to be unhappy about. You won't find a better family that you could live with. So they didn't feel included or accepted from a young age. They didn't feel supported to learn how to do things. And they developed some beliefs that there was something wrong with them. And they, they didn't believe they could trust themselves. They, they actually developed the habits of attempting to control everything. Have you ever had that experience where you're just trying to control everything so then it can feel safe and calm? But it's a flurry inside when we're attempting to control everything outside of ourselves. So we did a little time travel empathy with this younger self and we're able to recognize the needs for inclusion because this part felt excluded. It felt chaotic and it felt like they were a failure, and that they were not worthy of acceptance. And so the, the needs under that is like, well, first to slow down and to acknowledge what that's like in your body when you feel that you're not worthy of acceptance. I mean, it's, it's pretty bleak. But to feel the sensations, to feel where in the system is this energy stuck, and then just to resonate with it, to be with it. It's like, well, no wonder there's this shutdown. No wonder there's this, this vulnerability to um, try to protect self from being attacked, from being rejected. And so as we sat with it, then, this person was able to tap into their essential self, their compassionate self, who was able to give blessings to the child self. And they gave the blessings of being able to trust their inner knowing, to be able to set authentic limits with others and to have accompaniment from within themselves with self-acceptance. And they envisioned being able to hold hands with their younger self as they had an inner parts dialogue. 
and invite the younger self to come home with them, to live with them, to be included, and to experience mattering. So there's like, there's two different parts. There's the child part and then there's the adult part that can reach back in time to take the child's hand and welcome them home. Invite them to come back into your own heart. And as they were able to move through this process, there was a real powerful sensations in their sternum. And the request the child self had for them was, would they be willing to slow down in their life and take the time to become present to the body's wisdom and to check in with self? And so then there was a sense of clarity and ease and comfort and, and there was just a beautiful healing experience. And so how important is it to be able to recognize the ever-present past when it begins to surface in our life and to have the courage to reach out for some support when we need it. And when we get to have that support with resonance and warmth and care, we create new pathways that support us to welcome more of ourself home, to wake up and to be who we were created to be. If you'd like to accompany others on this journey, I invite you to explore the preview of my course, The Healing You Journey, on my website at healingyousanctuary.com. Click on the link there and schedule a time to chat with me. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks for being on the journey with me today, Healing You.